Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Catherine and I make motherhood, lifestyle, veganism videos. As you can already tell by the title of this video, I'm starting a new series here on my channel called Wedding Wednesday. I got married in 2016. Oh my gosh, how has that already been three years? I can't even believe, I cannot believe that. Um, but I never made a series about how we did our wedding on a budget, how we had a vegan wedding, um, all the DIYs that we did and everything. So I wanted to start today with showing you the entire video that we had made from our wedding. So that way you can just kind of get an overview and see how the day went. That way you can get to know my husband and I a little bit better. It's a personal video, um, but I really like want to share this with you guys. I want you to get to know me and my husband because he's going to be, or he's in a lot of the videos that I make. And I also want to, well, I keep pulling my hair back so it's kind of weird. Um, I also want to get to know you. So introduce yourself in the comments below. Say hi, like where are you from? I just, I want to get to know you. After this video, so next week and the following weeks on Wednesdays, I'm going to be showing you how we I'm going to be showing you a few things, like how we budgeted for our wedding, how we, like what we decided to splurge on and what we decided to do ourselves, how we had a vegan wedding, um, and you, like I try, I'll try to answer as many like things as I can about how we were able to do that and where we kind of slipped up along the way. I'm going to talk about what I wish I had known before planning a wedding and if there's anything that I regret or wish that I would have done differently. Oh, and then I think probably the final video or one of the end videos will be how we planned our honeymoon. You can actually go back on my channel in the videos and you can find the one that I made from our honeymoon on Maui. There should be two because we went back uh, with our son after he was born. But without further ado, I know you don't want to sit here and listen to me ramble all day. So here is our wedding video. I hope you enjoy. Catherine, our wedding day is finally here. I've seen you in many different styles, looks, and outfits through the years of your modeling, but today's look will be my favorite. Say we're gone, gone, we're on fire. All eyes will be on you as you walk down the aisle, as I know mine will be. My heart will be racing knowing that in just minutes I'll be able to call you my wife. They see what they need or they see what they like. It's hard to breathe being healthy as high. Once upon a time, as all good stories begin, two people found themselves gathered at a premier but unadvertised dating hotspot. The Robert Gray Middle School <laughs> in Portland, Oregon. The year was 2004. The Boston Red Sox had finally won the World Series after a drought of 86 years. Facebook was launched by Mark Zuckerberg and some of his Harvard University buddies, and Spider-Man and Shrek 2 were box office hits. Yes. <laughs> but in Southwest Portland, Catherine was a shy, sweet young thing, practically scared of her own shadow. I first met Catherine in fourth grade. I was the new kid at Riki Elementary School. Before I even arrived, she wrote me a card to welcome me to the class. Oh my gosh, I found it at home. So it was covered with rainbow flowers. On inside, she taped a school photo of herself <laughs> so that I would know who she was and could recognize her. And in fact, soon after that, we got to start hanging out with each other, having some conversations. I know that, you know, in elementary school, a lot of people kind of throw around the phrase friends forever, you write it in everyone's yearbooks, but for Catherine, she, she really meant it. Matt, on the other hand, was very outgoing and talked all the time. 
Every day, he stood outside the school building before the first bell rang and would say hi to everyone, which meant that every single day, Catherine had to keep her head down so that he wouldn't notice her, or even worse, say something to her. <laughs> and that might have been the end of their story, especially since they went to different high schools. But years later, I have known Matt since freshman year of high school. We kind of immediately bonded over our silly, dorky behaviors. Matt has always supported me, no matter what crazy adventures I try to get myself into. He just agrees and goes along with it. He's always made sure that I was safe and protected, along with every other girl that he comes in contact with. He's given me the don't be crying over a guy type speech. <laughs> and I've really appreciated it. So Catherine, what I love most about her is really her sweetness, her generosity, and above all, this boundless enthusiasm for life that she has. I really remember, even back you know, in fourth grade, I was thinking, Catherine is really the nicest person I know. <laughs> And that's so true. She's someone who will be by your side, you know, at a moment's notice. She'll always make you feel so loved and appreciated, and I'm so proud to be her friend. But years later, while Matt was in military training, he finally had some downtime and decided to check out Facebook. Randomly scrolling through hundreds of posts, one of the photos that popped up was of Catherine only definitely not as he remembered her. <laughs> this Catherine was all grown up and was a model. I remember when I was in college, I was coming home from winter break and it was basically the only time I get to see Matt. And he randomly, just at the end of the phone call, was like, oh yeah, I moved in with this girlfriend of mine and you know, I really like her, and oh, she's a model. And like, nothing about the pancake cast or anything, she's a model. And so he did the only cool and intelligent thing he could. He immediately messaged her and said, hi. Remember me, Matt from middle school? And you know, I go into sister protective mode, and I'm like, wait a minute, like, what is he doing? Like. I want to know her, I want to know her intentions, I want to meet her. So on winter break I had the privilege of meeting Catherine and I went in ready with all my questions and she just comes out of course as gorgeous as always and she's literally the sweetest person I have ever met. She is so humble kind as hard. I didn't have to ask those questions. From that day, I was rooting for this day to happen. To his great surprise, she responded, and that was their true beginning. Rochelle and I are just so blessed to have such a wonderful daughter, and we can't help but reflect on all the years we were lucky enough to watch her grow and become the beautiful woman that she is today. She captured our hearts on the day she was born. She'll always be our little girl, although she's quite tall. <laughs> At an early age, Catherine exhibited a strong will. She's loving, compassionate, caring, and determined. We know that Matt shares many of these same traits. And now, we've come to this day their wedding day. Stay close by when I'm hard to keep. Throughout the last six years, you have made me the best version of myself, a better friend, and now a husband. Not a day goes by that I do not want you by my side to be my vegan buddy. <laughs> the person to laugh with and swap faces with on Snapchat. <laughs> I do not know what the future has in store for us, but I do know that I can't wait to spend it with you. I'll see you down the aisle. I love you, your soon-to-be husband, Matt. So 
I vow to love you. I vow to love you. To respect you. To always be your best friend. To never grow up. Even when we are old and gray. To always remind you how beautiful you are. To always remind you how handsome you are. <laughs> to always open the door for you. To always hold your hand. To do all the driving on road trips. <laughs> to, to feed you while you're driving. <laughs> to always support your passions. To never go to China alone again. <laughs> <laughs> to not run away from all the scary spiders. <laughs> to not scream bloody murder when I see one. <laughs> To find you funny, especially when you're not trying to be. <laughs> to always laugh with you. To explore the world with you. To be adventurous. To watch The Bachelor with you. <laughs> to watch Marvel with you. <laughs> Matt, you got yourself an amazing woman to stand by your side for the rest of your life. We can all say she literally is your better half. So... And Catherine, I have never seen Matt more happy in my entire life. I know it's all because of you that he acts the way that he does. But I also want you to realize that not only have you gained the whole Lowell side of the family, but you've also gained yourself a dorky non-biological sister. <laughs> so I'm glad that I get to call you my sister now. Today, as we watch her marry a wonderful man, we're filled with pride and are confident that she and Matt are about to embark on a wonderful journey filled with love and happiness. May the two of you always treat each other with love, compassion, and kindness. Please join me in congratulating the bride and groom and wishing them a happy, loving life together. I can't wait to watch you guys grow as Mr. and Mrs. And on that note, I guess let's raise our glasses to the new Mr. and Mrs. Matt Lowell. To try and understand why you need so many lights on. <laughs> to occasionally turn lights off when I leave the room. <laughs> to surprise you with flowers from time to time. To always be full of surprises. To keep you warm. To cool you off. To support your dreams. To always dream big to be your biggest fan, to always be your motivation, to always see your glass as half full even when you can't, to be your voice when you can't find your words, to not let the wine cabinet go empty, <laughs> <laughs> to at least try your whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to always be by your side, I vow to always be by your side, to never give up, to never ever give up, to forever think that I'm the lucky one, to forever think that I am the lucky one. Will you be my wife? I will. <laughs> will you be my husband? I will. Yes. <laughs> so as you all heard today, these two over here, Catherine and Matt, met in middle school. And I wanted to just share a little memory that I have of Matt during that time. So we sat across from each other in Mr. Powell's eighth grade earth science class. <laughs> The first thing I remember about Matt was uh, one of our classmates, Carly, she got her paper ripped up. Matt was there, um, she was crying, she was really upset, she had worked for hours on this, on this project, and um, he sat there with her and scotch taped it all back together, made sure the pieces all fit perfectly. So that was a moment where I was like, oh, this guy's so nice. Matt, can you believe it's our wedding day? It seems like just yesterday we were moving into our first apartment together. Time flies when you're having fun, right? I can't wait for so many more years together. Today is going to be amazing. I'm excited to see you at the end of the aisle and finally be your wife. Oh, it's perfect. A new wallet and chocolate. I love it. Just in time. I'll always love you most. Love, your soon-to-be wife. So sweet. He wrote the same thing at the end. I wrote soon-to-be wife, and he wrote soon-to-be husband. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> Matt, repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. To wear upon your hand. To wear upon your hand. As a symbol of our unity. As a symbol of our unity. 
I give you this ring. Repeat. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I give you this ring. <laughs> To wear upon your hand. To wear upon your hand. As a symbol of our unity. As a symbol of our unity. Commitment. <laughs> Commitment. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. And love. And love. <laughs> you are mine. You are mine. I am yours. I am yours. From this day forth. From this day forth. From this day forth. I'm just so excited to see both of you growing together, and I know you're gonna have so many years of happiness. I hope that we'll get to share some of those moments with you in the future. I can't wait for those. Raise your glasses one more time. And cheers to the amazing couple. <laughs>